Reality as Iconoclastic may be the biggest idea in all of Lewis's books. He uses the phrase explicitly in A Grief Observed and Letters to Malcolm Chiefly on Prayer, the last book he prepared before he died. But you can even go back to his pre-Christian books, and he's also writing about this idea. Reality as Iconoclastic simply means this. An iconoclast breaks idols. So I have an idea of God, an image of God. Maybe I gained it through reading a book, having a late-night conversation with friends. Maybe it was through a lecture, hearing a sermon, whatever. Some of the pieces of the puzzle come together for me, and I understand God a little bit more clearly. But that idea, that image, helpful to me in the moment, if I hold on to it too tightly, it will begin to compete with my having a bigger idea of God. So the image, once helpful, has now become an idol. And as Lewis writes in Surprised by Joy, God kicks out the walls of temples we build for him because he wants to give us more of himself. An example of this might also be in uh, the Narnian books, where Lucy, the most spiritually sensitive of all the children from our world to go into Narnia, encounters the Christ figure of those books, the Lion Aslan. She's been to Narnia before. She's fallen in love with Aslan. When she goes back, she's so excited to see him, but she exclaims, Aslan, you're bigger. He says, oh, no, child, I am not. But every year you find me, you'll find me bigger. In other words, he will keep appearing bigger to us, not because he grows, but because our assessment begins to grow to try and catch up with the largeness of his character.